Okay, this is Lidmotus Giulini, and I've been itching to replicate this as soon as I saw it. And it's what it is, it's a combination between a pulse motor and an exciter circuit. Now that's Lidmotus circuit diagram there, and he's got a, a nice video on YouTube if anybody wants to check that out. Now, I've made a new circuit diagram for what I've done, of the changes I've done today. And the changes I've done is basically I've used a, uh, a much larger coil here for the dual thief, uh, dual thief part of the circuit. So my uh, coil is 500 grams of twin twisted copper wire. Uh, and I got that from a firm in the UK called wires.co.uk. And uh, basically it came uh, as a ready-made coil really. It was twin twisted wire, 500 grams, and the ends of the wire exposed. So you can just solder some wires to the ends and you've got a bifilar coil. Now, the other changes I've made is I've added uh, an extra potentiometer in. Lid motor has a 10K. Uh, I added an extra 24K. Now, I needed to do this because I'm running this on a lot higher voltage than uh, what lid motor is using. Uh, I'm running it on 16 volts today. And uh, without this extra uh, pot here, you just burn the transistor out. Now, I've also added this floating transistor, which was something I discovered a while back. Now, that usually lowers the amp draw. Uh, on a Slayer exciter or on my simple uh, exciter circuit with the tin trays. But adding it to this circuit uh, does some quite amazing stuff. Now, I don't know if anybody's seen my Bedini exciter video, but I get like a plasma effect on that, and it's not the usual plasma you get from the Slayer exciter. It's like a corona plasma. You can put your finger in it and it doesn't hurt, and I've managed to get it working with this as well. And the key to it was adding this transistor here. Now, these are MPSA06s. This here is just uh, like one meter of uh, wire dangling off the base of this transistor here. So that's the circuit diagram. And I'll show you the circuit in action. Now it's a bit of a pigsty because I'm filming it as I've just made it. And that noise you can hear is the plasma coming from the end of this wire. And I put my finger near it. I've got a, mot a rotor spinning away here. This is my large coil, and you can see the blue plasma coming from the end, and I'll put my finger in it, and the rotor goes berserk when I do this, it speeds up incredibly, and the plasma increases as well. The rotor's going into overdrive. I can't even feel that on my finger. And the current draw is 116 milliamps, and that's that uh, large coil. And this is the little relay coil I'm using here. But this is behaving very similar to my Bedini exciter. I get this plasma effect with that. And I've just added the modifications which I had on my Bedini exciter, which is this long piece of wire here going to the base of the transistor. But the key to it is this little secondary uh, transistor, the floating transistor there. If you pull that out, it stops, put it back in, and it starts again. So that was great fun working on this today. So thanks for watching.